Hello everyone, welcome to metatradertutorials.org. My name is Michael Pickenin, and I'm going to be walking you through the installation, setup, and initial navigation of MetaTrader 4. It's a platform that many people use, it's very popular to trade Forex, some commodities, and a spattering of, uh, of actual stocks, depending on the broker that you have. So, I downloaded a copy of MetaTrader from Alpari. Here is the web URL right here. Easiest just to navigate to alpari.co.uk and then it'll take you right there. So here I chose this link, download MetaTrader 4 free of charge. I clicked on that and I downloaded it. So I'm just gonna go to where that is. Here we go. And we'll choose run. And guys, if you've noticed here that you can actually choose your language. Now I'm gonna choose English. However, choose whatever you feel comfortable with. If by some chance that you feel more comfortable in French or German and you hit English by accident, there's an option once we finish installing MetaTrader to choose your language of preference and you are good to go, whatever you feel comfortable with. So I'm going to hit next. Yep, yes I agree with the license terms. Again guys, I went a little bit quicker here, however I do encourage you to read the license terms. Looks great. Uh, already exists. I actually had this setup previously. I uninstalled it. Now I'm reinstalling it just to show you guys what's going on here. So I'm going to click yes. Next. All right. So just give it a few minutes and we should be up and running. All right. Launch MetaTrader 4. Yes. Finish. The first thing that you'll see here is an opportunity to open an account. So what we're going to do here is we'll just put in some information so we can get past this and then we can have this change from no connection and we start getting a live data feed. One thing to note here is that don't be, don't worry about this. You don't actually have to put in your actual information. So I'll just, you know, watch me here, go through this fairly quickly. State, oh, and sure, here, H-O-H-O-H-O. -H -O -H -O. This is the postal code for the North Pole here in Canada. One, two, three, any street, phone, five, 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 five. I've seen it in every bad detective movie. Me at here.com. All right. Now it asks you for the account type. You can choose any base currency that you want. Because we're just opening up a demo just to see how it works, I'm just going to leave this as is. Quick, quick. Uh, so I click to agree to the terms and subscribe to the newsletter, move next, and it will scan for the servers, hit next, and it comes up with their login or password and investor. Now here's something that's pretty interesting. Let's say you are a hotshot Forex uh, trader and you want to show other people what you can do. If they downloaded a copy of the MetaTrader specifically from Alpari, you can give them your login as well as the investor password and they'll actually be able to see the, the trades going on as well as what you've done in the past. And the, th the thing here is that they won't actually be able to go and make trades, they can only view trades as an investor. For yourself, while actually making trades, you would use this particular password here to be able to make trades on your account. So hit finish, you can tell this went from no connection. Now starting a data feed, and one of the things that MetaTrader does do from time to time when you open up, uh, when, when you open it up to actually launch the program, it will look for a new, uh, new version. So we will click start, and we'll let this just load up here and reinstall. I'm going to put the video on pause, and I'll come back once the uh, once it's finished uploading. All right, now that MetaTrader is finished updating. I'm going to walk you through each section of the trading platform that you see here. So obviously along the top part, we'll go through this particular toolbar, as well as these buttons. A lot of these buttons are just the graphical form that you'll find within one of these menus. On the left hand side, we have the market watch. It shows the symbol and the bid and ask. And you can see right here, market watch, that is the server time specifically for Alpari. 
we also have a tick chart. So depending on the chart that's that is highlighted at this particular moment, this chart, the Euro USD four hour time frame, is selected. You can tell that the uh, the menu bar it's a little bit bluer than the rest of them. All right. We also have the navigator right along here, which shows us various things. For example, we can choose the account that we're trading. We have indicators, expert advisors, which essentially is automated trading, basically robots that are programmed to watch the market and execute a particular action with you having to be there and watch every single tick going by. Custom indicators, once you get handy in, within programming, you'll be able to create your own indicators based on what you think uh, makes a lot of sense and apply those to your charts and scripts. Scripts are one-time, one-action commands that can be executed on particular charts. Down here, we have our terminal. So right now, it's on the mailbox. From time to time, the uh, actually, Alpari will send emails, and all you have to do is click on them, and it'll open up with whatever particular details uh, and the information that they have to they want to share with you. So this one here is my registration. And it's letting me know, there we go, login and password. So we can keep that in a safe place. Go. And within the main screen here, we have, it defaults to four charts. We've got the Euro USD, the British Pound US Dollar Cross, the USD Swiss Franc, as well as the USD Japanese Yen. Fantastic. One of the things that I wanted to mention here, we hit the trade. This shows you our balance, our equity, and free margin. Now, because I only opened up a demo account with 5,000, and there's no trades currently going on right now, that's why we're seeing the $5,000. Again, this is only a demo account. So one of the things to note, everyone, balance, in case you're not familiar with the terminology, balance means what your account accounts of value is gross of any open positions. So what do I mean by that? Let's say you've been trading and you've had five closed trades each at a win of $10 each. You would have a total gross win of $50 from your closed positions. So again, the balance shows the amount of money that you have in your account based on your closed positions. Now equity, let's say if you have some open trades, but unfortunately they're all in the red. Let's say they're all in the red by $100. Your balance may show $5,050. However, your equity would show $4,950 if, if you are down $100 with your open positions. So what it does, the equity is best seen as your net balance. So if the account had to close on that particular second, whatever second that is, it's always going to be right now, and you closed all your positions, that's how much money you would be left with in your account. All right? And a free margin. In order to open up a position, you have to have some money within your account set aside to control the amount of money that you're using. So this free margin, this number will go down each time you open a position. Now this is all based on your leverage. We've chosen leverage of 100 to 1. So what that means, it takes $1 in order to control $100 worth of currency. All right, now that we've gone over the basics in terms of what the terminal looks like, where the different elements are, the next series of tutorials will go through how to customize the charts so that they appeal to you and they make the most sense. The last thing you want to do is be trading on charts that seem cluttered, confusing, or anything like that. You really need to make sure your nerves are settled and that what you're taking in is exactly what you need. Not too much information, but you also need enough to make a decision properly. So we'll focus on that for the next lesson. We'll see you around. Thanks guys.